Hello everyone, and welcome back to another world, uh, another world, another day or video of Steam World Quest. So uh, I noticed we have a notification in our deck. Oh yeah, this is just for Cleave. All right, nothing too big there. Hello, does anyone live here? A gumball machine? Halt! This is a members-only facility. Show me your membership cards or leave the premises. Lenny, we just ran into an army that tried to burn down Town Hall. We must speak to Guildmaster Gaines. Oh yeah, Mr. Gaines. You are looking at acting Guildmaster Bottomax, and yes, I know about that army. In fact, how can I be sure you're not one with them? But we grew up together. You've known us your whole life. That is hard to forget. Well, wow, you look like the most evil person ever. Also, what's with your weird pizza mustache? Looks like a slice of pizza that's like oddly cut and then it has two pepperonis on it. Anyway, you won't find any other guild heroes here. The Void took them all. Also, that person's hair, it looks like a mop. You are all that's left? This is serious. Why aren't you getting ready to go after them? The statutes clearly state that the clubhouse can't ever be left unguarded. Former Guildmaster Gaines was very clear on that matter. I'm obliged to stay here. You are not a member of the guild, so you can't see how much work goes into this. The paperwork alone is a nightmare. But we have to act fast. Hey, why don't the three of us go after them? You... I remember back in summer camp when you lost it, got lost in your own tent. Oh come on, it was really dark. Besides, you need to be a member of the guild to stage an official rescue party. Okay, so no official rescue party then. How about we make this an unofficial operation? Don't make me laugh, you'd only get yourself captured and... Hey. That's not a bad idea. As acting master of the guild, I give you my permission to stage an unsanctioned rescue party. Without any recognition from the guild, of course. Right. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to familiarize myself with my new office. It's high time for biscuits and a session in the massage chair. I have a feeling this guy sold out his friends so he could uh, become member of the guild, but really are you the boss of anything if you have no members? Guildmaster Lenny, huh? Someone's riding the gravy train. That Lin that's Linny, always eager to climb the career ladder. But I can't help thinking there's something more going on here than a straight up promotion. Never mind that, this could be my big chance to get a guild membership. Armily, every time you get that look, I just know there's going to be trouble. By saving the guild heroes, I'll definitely prove my worth to Master Big Gains. Even more than when I helped him keep, uh, keep those hungry golfers away from the heroic fields of fair ways. Oh, I really thought he was going to make me a member that time. First of all, he said gophers, not golfers. And Lenny made it very clear that this wouldn't give you any recognition from the guild. But Lenny's wrong. The hero's handbook states that real heroics don't have to be sanctioned. Besides, the village is unprotected now. We need those guild heroes back. I don't know. I'm not in the mood for a field trip, and these buns won't eat themselves. Oh, that sounds kinky. You eating ass, Galio? Eating buns in your mother's basement. Just going to ignore that. Won't help if the Void Army comes back. If they keep setting houses on fire, goodbye free rent. I don't like fire. Or paying rent. Yeah, you just like sitting in the basement and eating ass, apparently. We could stay here and rot for the rest of our lives. Or we could go on a date with Destiny and an evil army. Come on, Coco, if this ain't a chance to deploy... to deploy knowledge practically for the good of many, then what is? Oh, I realize he's talking about Copernica. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you're actually making sense. We have to take this seriously. Alright, let's follow their tracks. 
Raise armorly strength by one grade for three turns. Two grades if she is at below 50% of her max health, and three grades if she's at below 25. Eh, I already have bravado. Fine, but I'm not carrying all your stuff. I also remember summer camp. Aw, Galio yeah, gets stuck with carrying everything. How did I get 75% of chests? What am I missing? I thought I was pretty thorough. Evidently not. The team heads off on the heels of the evil Void Army to rescue the captured guild heroes. Chapter 4 In Pursuit of an Evil Army. Aw, oh, poor Galio lagging behind. Look at the tracks! They must have come this way. Hmm. So I wonder uh, how many, if we're ever going to hit different environments, because so far it's just been, you know, plains with some trees. Well, who is that? I want to recruit them. I feel like a wood sword when you're robots is probably a good way to die. No one's going to get hurt by that thing, buddy. This character reminds me of something, but I'm not sure of what it is. Yeah, we can heal up, I suppose. Yeah, we can also mark uh, that new ability. Oop, gotta cut that up. Oh, hello, mysterious merchant. How are you? Craft cards, we got new ones. Execute, deals increased damage. If the foe is below 30% health. How much increased damage, though? Oh, and it's a combo ability. Four hundred percent strength as physical damage. If the foe is below 30% health, otherwise it deals 150% strength damage. And the combo is has a 20% chance to instantly scrap them unless they're a boss. But is that really useful against anything but a boss? Because I feel like 400% strength damage from Armily, if they're already below 30% health. Yeah, no, that, that ability doesn't seem too terribly useful. Raise all allies strength. Pass. Removes all helpful effects on one foe. Overall foes frost, defense, and deal frost damage to all enemies. Grant all allies a random helpful effect and all foes a random harmful effect. Well, we have money, so how about we see what we can buy. Ooh, new weapons. The metallic ink has an unfortunate tendency to attract static charge. So I lose barrier field and gain thunder wave. Lose Guardian and gain a Water Jet. Lose Lionheart and gain Lacerate. Well, I definitely want that. So now the question is what other thing do I want? Accessories? Ooh. Null Bleed. How does a robot bleed? Once again, these are questions I don't need to be asking. Mole poison and health plus 10. Frost, defense, fire, storm, arcane. I usually like to get these items in uh, RPGs just because it's useful to have the option in case you're fighting a boss that uses that element. But in this particular case, I think I want to spend it on some other things. Um, yeah, I think having extra health on the characters 10% extra health doesn't seem that doesn't seem more useful than nullifying poison or bleed, so grab that. And since there's no other real options, I guess we'll grab one of these. We've been running into a lot of arcane damage, so weapons. So we can go ahead and sell the Valiant Sword now. Cause yeah. Alright. 
It seems like weapons are just a uh, straight vertical upgrade. So there's no real reason to keep the old weapons because this one gave me 15% extra strength. So even if I really, really liked the Lionheart ability, I losing out on that 15% strength just to keep that ability doesn't seem very viable. All right. So more health on you and null bleed or arcane defense. I probably want more health on you, and nullifying bleed sounds like a pretty good idea. And you... Why don't we unequip the scout badge from you and give that to Armily? So that would increase their damage. And you can have the onyx ring. Not that you really need it since you are the tankiest, but hey, gotta spread the love around. All right, what do we have over this way? It's a goblin and a bomb spider. It looks like a Dwimmer, uh, what were they called? Dwimmer workers, I think, from uh, Elder Scrolls. So you are a new goblin, a red cow. So you're strong against fire, weak against arcane. And what about you? Weak to frost, weak to frost. Okay, so I probably want to switch Copernicus' deck around after this fight. Um, shields up. And... Ooh, Creeping Cold, actually. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, there was... So, what do you do? Doesn't say anything. I assume they would explode, but we'll find out, I suppose. Go ahead and shout at them fools. Hit both of the uh, spiders, please. Okay, never mind. Increase defense, lower attack. And they get a little uh, baby shield off of it. Interesting. Well, that doesn't save you from poison, now does it? And I can hit you with some fire damage. Mana barrier. So I'm not I'm not sure of builds really in this game, and uh, I'm definitely not the type of person in single player games that goes for the best build or the most efficient uh, way to play. But uh, I like to think I'm okay at these games. Not amazing by any means, but. Probably all right. Let's just uh, beat up on that character, I suppose. Actually, let's let's refund you and refund you. Bravado, I guess. Actually, do that in a separate order. Whoop! There we go. There we go. Now let's just punch that red cow in his dumb-looking face. Boom! You know what? That was rude. Probably, probably shouldn't call him dumb. Although I guess I am about to murder him, so calling him dumb is probably the least uh, offensive thing I've done to him. Poor guy. Just don't know how to control myself. Okay, we really don't need these mints, so... Um... Well, I guess we're gonna find out what, um... Armily's new ability is? Oh, can't see it from there. Well, here we go. Lacerate. So yeah, the blood, the bleed effect does just make them drip oil, which is funny. So you're probably gonna die, right? Yeah, dead. Boom. Ah, uh, and they resist bleed. Yep, that enemy does exactly what I thought that enemy did. Ow. That was pain. Ooh, plus 50, plus 50 health on Copernicus. <laughs> really, really nice. I do not want to fight you. Jeez. That was unfortunate a lot of damage there. Oh no. How am 
much health do I have? Everybody's really beat up. I think I have to use this. It's going to respawn the enemies, but... I don't really think I had a choice there. Especially if I want to fight this. What, did, what was this last time? Was it like an ogre or something? A Corsara? Weird. They're apparently weak to arcane, which I have none of, so... Enjoy your poison. Boom, I kind of wiggle my hammer and you get poisoned. Not sure how Galio does that. That looked painful. Ooh, that's some big damage though. Were you immune to bleed? Uh, condition immunities. I don't know what that is. So, I'm going to go with the assumption that they're not immune to bleed. Your attack is already boosted. Damn it. Now I can't get that effect off. I should have just... I should have just used that anyway. Unfortunate. Well, that's still my strongest attacks. So, let's go for it. Enrage. Ouch. That was some big damage. Um, we could lower your attack. Or I could potentially just wail on you until you die. Let's see. Yeah. Probably not gonna work out. Let's just go for this. There we go. And we can raise everyone's defense. Probably a good move when he's enraged. Huh. The poison's probably actually going to be pretty close to killing him. Oh. You just buffed yourself again? I don't think that was the best idea, buddy. But hey. You do you. So, uh... hate to break this to you, but you're... dead. I like your cat, though. Always like me a good cat. Except when mine are being bad. Messing with stuff while I record. Alright, Mr. Black Chest, you had a lot of money in you last time. A revive kit. That's pretty good. Super Soaker. Deal 150% magic damage as frost damage to one foe and lower their frost and storm defenses by one grade. That's... Honestly sounds pretty good, actually. Maybe I should equip that. Hmm. Does frost damage. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know what? That might actually be good for... Let's take out... Do I really need two mins? No. Let's put that other poison back in and add Super Soaker. And let's take out one of your Searing Lashes. Or no, one of the Flame Pillars. And uh, put that back in. Alright. Sounds good to me. Oh, there's some extra money hiding in the brambles there. So, so far what I've learned is those bomb spider enemies are spooky. And I don't like them. Ooh, you have some new stuff. Taunts one foe and raises Galio's physical defense. Yes. Taunts in uh, pretty much any game where you have a tank are always amazing. And you should always get them. Assuming you have a good tank. Okay, so shields up. Hmm. Raises one ally's physical defense. I feel like provoke is probably a bigger deal here. Um, but let's... 
I kind of just want uh, Galio to be like a not really a physical damage character at all. So how about yeah, let's just take all of his attacks off except for these. Yeah, I just want you to kind of be a support, Galio. It's funny saying that, considering uh, Galio from League of Legends is also a support. Sounds like I'm thinking, well, used to be a support. Now they're like a weird top laner or something. Did the enemies randomize? These weren't here before. Interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that. And then... Give somebody some poison. And how about we lower your cold resistance? Oh yeah, I think I meant to change around um, Copernicus deck and add some uh, more frost spells in there since uh, I have that now. Probably uh, look into doing that. How dare you stab me? Ah, there we go. Provoke. You, attack me. Also that. Uh, can we maybe get one more? Nope. Well, just gonna beat up on that character, I suppose. I was trying to get, uh... Uh, Galio's heroic skill to go off. Doesn't seem to be the case. I always like the slow, uh, and steady tricksy characters that just give uh, people a slow death. What's uh, the darkest dungeon quote? Slow and insidious killer. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yeah, I think that's the one. Okay, so you get some big damage. You get a big shield. And you get some big damage. Boom. That's what I call big damage. That character seems to be enraged. Not sure what that does. Maybe it's a mark? Seems to kind of mark a certain character, I guess. Not sure. What does that mean? I wish you could just hover over the icon and have it give an explanation. Forced to attack whoever inflicted this effect. <coughs> oh, that's what that is. That's my effect. Okay, that's not bad then. Hmm. Could heal somebody up. Which might not be a bad move. Probably want to go ahead and get rid of that since they're kind of resistant to fire. Or I could just murder someone like you. And raise your defense. And smack you around, I guess. I like the uh, drawing. Oh, come on. One HP. It is weird that there's a variance on the damage, but uh, they don't list the variance on the cards. Like, usually when there's variance in attack, they list, like, a damage range, but this one doesn't seem to do that. But oh well. Minor issue. Extremely minor, in fact. Well, now's the time I would definitely want to have a multi-target attack, huh? I can't even draw a regular attack. Well, that can kill you for sure. Let's take the time to heal up, I suppose. Oh, I didn't even know I cast that. Oh well. Worked out in the end, I guess. How dare you. Pernica is beautiful. Do not attack her. Um... I don't want you. Yeah, let's just do two creeping colds and a lash. There we go. I just realized, did I ever equip that new weapon on uh, Armily? I think, yeah, no, I auto equip it because I sold her old weapon. Ooh, level up. Eight extra magic, 12 extra damage, 55 extra health. Good stuff. Well, I guess we're fighting these again. Yes, hello. Our last fight didn't go too well. I hope this one will go better. Let's go ahead and poison. 
Not going to be needing those. Mana barrier. And uh, I don't think they're resistant to, uh, resistant to fire. Yeah, no. They're just really, really weak to water, ice. Oh yeah, I wanted to change her deck. Damn it. I gotta remember to do that after this battle. Remind me. Somehow go back in time and remind me with your uh, time machine that I know you have. You know, you know who I'm talking to. You know you're there. Uh, creeping cold. Do we potentially get that one attack of his? No. All right. Well, I tried. Fire pillar, and no, let's not do that. Actually, we want to creeping cold. And fire pillar, and bravado, I guess. Because they have a they have a physical armor, so I don't really I feel like attacking would be uh, with armily would be a waste. Let's just go ahead and buff and such. So yeah, these enemies are basically bombs uh, from Final Fantasy, which are some of the most annoying enemies in the game because you have to kill them uh, before a certain point where they explode. And, uh, it's pain. As you saw in that last fight we had with these guys. I wish I could actually apply some, uh, some sort of CC to these enemies. Doesn't seem like that's possible. Are you gonna blow up? Next turn? Yeah. Okay, so when they, when their gauge fills up, that's, that's when it's game over, man. Game over, das. That's pretty good. Um, please. Damn it. Well, that didn't work out. Did it? Might still be able to kill them, though? Yeah, I think that should finish them off. Yeah, because they're weak. And that was a crit. Yep. That is one dead spider bomb. Alrighty, so that person from the future that I said uh, had a time machine, they reminded me to uh, go ahead and go into this deck and switch this around. Thank you kindly for that help. I'm joking. Someone out there would maybe think I'm serious. Alright, so... Let's just take out the Searing Lashes. No, oh, I already have all the Creeping Colds I can. What did that do exactly again? Grants additional redraws. It could be good, and it does raise her magic. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and put focus in. Maybe I should have had that in earlier. I don't know. All right, what's on the next screen? Huh. Well, looks like we got a character chilling in a basket. What are they all about? I don't know. Find out next time on Steam World Quest. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time.